Hi, this is Michael Crump, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started working with Eclipse and Telerik UI for Android. Okay, let's jump straight in. I've went ahead and I've downloaded the MSI installer, and you can see it's on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click on that, and that's going to begin the setup wizard. Let's go ahead and install Telerik UI for Android very quickly. I'm going to select I agree, continue. You can see that I have went ahead and installed Android Studio as well as Eclipse and it's going to install the proper components for both of those IDEs as well as some demos. We're going to go ahead and click the install button. Now that we have a successful installation, let's just go ahead and click on the finish button and we'll launch Eclipse. Now that Eclipse has been launched, let's go ahead and let's select file new project and we're going to navigate to Android and then Android project from existing code and then click the next button. It's going to ask us to select a directory for an existing Android project. I'm going to go ahead and click on the browse button and from here I'm going to select my PC, the C drive, and we'll go to our program files x86 and I'll continue to scroll down to Telerik UI for Android controls Eclipse and then select the OK button. From here I'm going to go ahead and copy this project into the workspace and press the finish button and now our project has been loaded into our workspace. We can go ahead very quickly and make sure that this is a library by right clicking on the project, selecting properties, and underneath Android you'll see under library it is set as is library. So just go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and create a new Android application. We'll begin by going to File, New, Android Application Project, We'll just give this the name of My First Telerik Android App. And I'll just go ahead and fix the prefix to com.telerik. For the minimum required SDK, we're going to select API Level 9. And we'll leave the rest as the default. Go ahead and select Next and we're going to leave the defaults on the rest of the screens in this wizard. And from here we have our Android application. We can now right click this project and go down to properties. Again we're going to select on Android. We're going to select add and we're going to select Eclipse for the library project, we're going to select OK. You'll see the green check mark and then press Apply, OK, and you may have noticed it went ahead and added in the Android dependencies located here. And you can see our Eclipse.jar file. Now you're actually ready to begin working with Telerik UI for Android.